Oh, we're not defending FBI. I, I didn't we're say just, you were. I said oh, some of the same people. We're just looking and saying, damn, finally. But what's your thoughts with, with, with Florida? Is, is, and you see that uh, they're trying to take our history out of these history books and not trying to teach our history. What's, what's your thoughts? I, I find it interesting that the Democrats are the ones complaining about Florida. This is a party of slavery, party of Jim Crow, the party of the KKK, the party of the Southern Manifesto, the party of, uh, of Dred Scott, the party that I said earlier destroyed the nuclear intact family, and the party that is opposing school choice. And now they want to lecture Florida on uh, making sure the proper history of, of slavery is taught. I don't. I don't know anybody who's defending slavery. Anybody, not not well, not, not Ron DeSantis. Like, he's Ron not defending. He, people, be, people benefited from slavery. Actually, you're talking about one well, line. Actually, uh, actually, you're talking about actually, one line in about 100, 127 pages of of uh, of <clears throat> of uh, the study, and it is a line that was repeated almost verbatim in the associated uh, uh, in the advanced placement. African American course that the uh, DeSantis administration refused to use because of all of the sexual stuff that was in it. It's basically the well, same sorry. thing that was in the advanced placement African American courses, and now oh, because wow. it's in that, all of a sudden uh, the the uh, governor is accused of somehow defending slavery. He's not doing anything of the sort. What did you think about well, that? Well, sir, line? you you were actually one that defended slavery uh, in your comments. You said that, like it or not, slavery was legal it in was. response to reparations. So it it's you that was defending slavery, correct? Uh, defending it and saying that it's illegal are two very different things. Slavery, well, was, sla well, was, slavery, was, slavery, was, slavery, slavery, unfor slavery, unfortunately. Well, that was your response. That slavery, was your response into if reparations should if reparations well, I, should happen. So let, your let, response I, to that was like it or not, slavery was legal. And one would think that that was a defense on those who well, were asking. Well, you would think it was a defense, but, yeah, but, it, but, it, but it is not a defense. Unfortunately, slavery has been part and parcel of human history from the very beginning. Asians enslaved Asians, whites enslaved whites, blacks enslaved blacks, Native Americans enslaved Native, Native Americans. This is a culture, the Western civilization, that had a revulsion against it. We had a civil war against it. Uh, and we ought to applaud ourselves for doing something about this. Uh, this is a flawed country. It's moving forward. Uh, it's becoming more perfect all the time. Today, if you are uh, born and raised in America, if you finish high school, presumably one where you can read, write, and compute at grade level, which is why I support school choice, don't have a kid before you're 20, get married first, get a job, keep a job, don't quit it until you get another job, and avoid the criminal justice system, you will not be poor. And if you don't follow that formula, there's a good chance you will be. You know, uh, the first GOP debate is coming up, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you didn't qualify, and I saw you right. Well, you didn't say, you, I, I've, not, I've not yet not qualified. It's not until August 21. Oh, okay. Well, I saw you write in the op-ed that the Republican National Committee has rigged the rules of the game by instituting a set of criteria that right. is uh, so... Uh, onerous, what is it? Onerous, o onerous, onerous, and mm -hmm. I, mis designed. I mispronounced Tupac, so you mispronounced onerous. So, right. so, 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 so even <laughs> you are really petty, Mr. <laughs> and you said, <laughs> and, and, you said and, poorly, and poorly designed that only establishment <clears throat> and billionaire candidates are guaranteed to be on stage. Mm -hmm. Explain to us why that uh, system hurts people. Well, I ran for governor of California, I got 3.5 million votes. It seems to me that made me credible. The RNC is requiring us to have one percent or 40,000 individual donors. In 2020, the DNC required you to have 1% or a certain number of donors for reasons that I don't quite understand. The RNC is requiring you to have, have both of them. One of the candidates in this race is a multimillionaire. He's offered a $20 gift certificate if you give $1. Another one is offering a free, air quotes, country western concert if you give $1. Another one is giving you a commission uh, if you are a prospective donor to go out and get other prospective donors. It seems to me that corrupts the whole process. I'm doing it the old-fashioned way, Charlamagne. I'm asking people to support me and go to my website, LarryElder.com, and give me at least $1. If I get $1 from 40,000 individuals, I will be up on that stage in Milwaukee on August 23. And when I get up there, game on, hold my beer. So why is this system, so would you, is this system holding you back? Go ahead, would sir. you say it's a system holding you back? I, I, I would say it's unfair. It seems to me er, this early, uh, the, the voters ought to decide this. I mean, in 2016, there were 17 or 18 Republican candidates. Now there's 13. Mm -hmm. uh, somehow, some way, our republic survived, and we could survive with 13 candidates. I don't know why they have all this rule to, uh, to, uh, to uh, eliminate certain people at this yeah, point. Those systems, but, but rather than, those systems can hold you back no matter but, how but rather, hard you work, but, right? But, no, I'm going to say, but rather than whine about it, my goal is to get on as many shows as I can, like yours, mm -hmm. urge people to go to Larry com. give at least one dollar, even if you want somebody else. Don't you think it's wise for us to talk about the epidemic of fatherlessness, the lie that America remains systemic racism, systemically racist, uh, and the need for school choice? 13 public high schools in Baltimore, 0% of the kids can do math at grade level. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. 53 public high schools in Chicago, 0% of the kids can do math at grade level. Meanwhile, the Democratic Party is opposed to school choice, while the party elites, whether it's Barack Obama or Gavin Newsom or, or Joe Biden, have their own kids in private school. It is wrong, and we need to talk about that. Mm. Larry Elder, why would why would... 
somebody from our community vote for you or why should they vote for you? Why should a black person vote for you? Because I'm telling the truth and the truth oftentimes it's unpleasant. Uh, it's not pleasant for me to be called the black face of white supremacy as the LA Times did. It's not pleasant for me to be accused of being anti-black as Tavis Smiley once called me because I, I don't support reparations. By the way, Barack Obama never supported reparations. Nobody called him anti-black. We need to talk about what's going on. What's going on is the breakdown of the family. And most of the things we complain about downstream, whether it's crime or whether it's bad schools, the genesis is the breakdown of the nuclear intact family, and we don't talk enough about it. Do you agree that our community is hit harder with a lot of things that you just said, whether it is racism, whether it is getting loans, whether nope. it is getting entrepreneurship, whether it is education, whether it is all those things? You do understand that and agree with I, that, I, I do, but much of it is either self-inflicted or because of policies that we have supported, Democrats that we have supported. I wrote a book called, it's coming out in, uh, in October, it's called As Goes California, My Mission to Rescue the Golden State and Save the Nation. It's about the one-party rule in California. California has super majorities of Democrats in the Senate and in the House. And as a result, our schools are working are near the bottom. People are leaving California for the very first time. We have the highest uh, state income tax in the country. The average price of a home in California costs 175 percent above the national average, all because of these left wing policies that are hurting the very people, black and brown people living in the inner city that people on the left claim that they care about. Do you think slavery was self-inflicted or do you think Jim Crow segregation was self-inflicted or do you think, you know, Slavery was self inflicted. Of course, it wasn't self inflicted, but but uh, well, but, but, but there are a lot of there, a lot of people have bloody hands in slavery. Mm -hmm. For example, slavery could not have existed had it not been for African chieftains who were selling black slaves captured uh, in battle or captured through raids and selling them to European and Arab slavers. It could not have could not have existed without that. So everybody has dirty hands here. That's why reparations is such a foolish thing. If you're going to get reparations from the 5% or so of white people that have some sort of generational connection to slavery, and that's all there is, then you need to go back to Africa uh, and get money from African countries uh, that were involved in the slave trade and, the, and in the Arab slave trade. And by the way, the Arab slave trade was even worse than the European slave trade. 90% rate of attrition often making men and women walk on barefoot across the Sahara, and the men were castrated, uh, only about okay, five... So, 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 so if they go after the money from the other countries, then would you agree that it would be okay to go after the money from America? Is that when, your when problem it, when, with it? When, 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 when are you going to stop with this? Everybody has no, a I grievance. Just asked a I'm, just, I'm, 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 answering, I'm answering your question. There, no, there, there's no end, the there, there will be no end to this because slavery has okay, been part of human history uh, a, from the very beginning. We'd be getting money... I've let you talk. Sir, I've let you talk. And every time I talk, you begin to talk and then you say, let you finish. So I asked you a very simple question. You said, if you're going to go after it in America, go after it in Africa. So if we all agree to go after it in Africa. Will you then agree to go after it in America? It's just a simple question. No, yes no, no? no, I won't because it's a waste of time. We ought to be spending our okay, time no on, on education. Next question. Okay, so you, okay, okay. You told me that, that I cut you off. Then I try to answer your question. You won't let me finish. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Larry. Thank you. It's a waste of time. We ought to be talking about working hard, investing in ourselves. Right now, as we speak, there are Haitians uh, in Haiti lining up for a lottery to come into this country. Why? Because it is the land of the free and the home of the brave. You can go from nothing to something faster in America than any other country in all of human history. We ought to be talking about that. Let me just one more point. 1997, Time Magazine and CNN hooked up together to do a poll on what black teenagers and white teenagers felt about racism. Mm -hmm. And both of them were asked, is racism a major problem in America? Both of them said yes. But then Time and CNN asked this question of the, of the black teenagers. Is racism a big problem? a small problem or no problem in your own daily life. This is 1997. 89% of them said small problem or no problem in my own daily life. In fact, twice as many blacks said failure to take advantage of available opportunities is a bigger problem than racism. That was 1997. Twice, 1997. Look it up. It's 2023, though. You think America is more racist now after the election and re-election of Barack Obama than it was in 1997? Yes, because of the election of uh, MAGA, Donald Trump, 100%. Yes. Really? Oh, absolutely. Well, how is it, how is it uh, Charlemagne, that Donald Trump got 8% of the black vote in, uh, in 2016? He got 12% in 2020, a 50% increase. He got 20% of the black male vote in 2020. Uh, if MAGA is racist, how do you explain that, that Donald Trump substantially increased the percentage of black vote the Republican Party got? Sometimes people make points. So why are you running against Trump then, Mr. Elder? Yeah, so, I'm, not, I'm not running against him. I'm running against Biden-Harris. Any one of the Republican nominees we have would be better than what we have right now. I'm not running against him. I'm running to put forth the issues I just now mentioned that I've been talking about for the last few minutes. You know,